resonance barrier. You and me now. Take it slow, keep your eyes peeled, and let's head for the control room. Can't say I'm surprised. You there's nothing to stop me from killing you this time. You don't have to. Just stand there. It'll be over quicker. Fire and maneuver! Takes care of that. By now, the pride should be mopping up whatever op. Let's get this. Hello. Hello, is it anyone there? It's Dr. Lee. Something's wrong with the purifier. Please, someone answer. Dr. Lee, it's Sarah Lyons. I'm in the control room. We're both here. Equipment remotely and this is still stable. The facility has been damaged during the fighting. Some of it looks accidental, some of it may have been sabotaged. There's pressure building up in the holding tank. It needs to be released now or else the whole facility could explode. To release the pressure, you're going to have to turn the purifier on. Do you understand me? It has to be turned on now. If I'm reading this right, I'm afraid there are lethal levels of radiation inside the chamber. I'm sorry. I wish there was some other way, but there's just no time. It has to be done now, or the damage will be catastrophic. Well, so much for... One of us is going to... Not... If that's how you want to do this... say that your destiny lies within that chamber. Cycle the air.
If you're still there, the purifier needs to be activated now. You don't have much time left. And so it was that the Lone Wanderer ventured forth from Vault 101, intent on discovering the fate of a father who had once sacrificed the future of humanity for that of his only child. The Capital Wasteland proved a cruel, inhospitable place, but the Lone Wanderer refused to surrender to the vices that had claimed so many others. The values passed on from father to child, selflessness, compassion, honor, guided this noble soul through countless trials and triumphs. It was not until the end of this long road that the lone wanderer was faced with that greatest of virtues, sacrifice. But the child refused to follow the father's selfless example, instead allowing a true hero to venture into the irradiated control chamber of Project Purity. Thankfully, when selected by the sinister president to be his instrument of annihilation, the wanderer refused. Humanity, with all its flaws, was deemed worthy of preservation. The waters of life flowed at last, free and pure for any and all. The capital wasteland, at long last, was saved. So ends the story of the Lone Wanderer, who stepped through the great door of Vault 101 and into the annals of legend. But the tale of humanity will never come to a close. For the struggle of survival is a war without end. And war, war never changes.